arrived at Hollywood Boulevard. Can you see the stars, Pepper? But it's daytime! These stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. There they are! I see them! Why are there stars on the floor? They're for the movie stars. Cool! Are we going to be movie stars? Oh, well, we do have tickets to star in Super Potato's new movie, so we just might be. I've always loved Super Potato. He's my idol. So, let's have a look at these stars, and then we'll have to make our way to the film studio. We don't want to be late. Look! It's Super Potato Star. Did someone say Super Potato? Super Potato! It is I, the superest potato in all the land. It's a real honor to meet you. A super duper honor. I see you found my star. We're so excited to be here in Hollywood. Would you like a picture with me? Yes, yes! All right, gather round, everybody. You heard the potato. Sorry, I mean super potato. Everyone say, potato! Potato! I'm afraid I must go. I've got movies to make. Super potato away! Look here, it's Hash Brown's star. The most handsome tater in town, it's Hash Brown. Pretty cool star, huh? It's very shiny and glittery. Just like my smile. Well, of course you can. Everyone gather round. Squeeze in, everybody. Okay, say Hash Brown. Hash, hash brown! brown! Thank you, Hash Brown. No problem. I've always got time for my fans. Yikes! No, I don't. I've got to be at the movie studio in ten minutes. See ya! Super Potato and Hash Brown are posing for some photos. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. And I'm Hash Brown. Uh, make sure you get my best side. <laughs> Hello, Super Potato. It's a real honor. Oh, hello. Are you here to take photos too? No. Well, I do have a camera, but we're not photographers. We're movie stars like you. Yes, we are. Well, we're almost movie stars. We won a ticket to star in your new movie, Vegetables in Space. Vegetables in Space? I love that movie. I mean, it is my movie after all. Can we come in? Of course. We can go inside whenever you're ready. We've got a movie to make. How exciting. This is the movie studio. Do you know what we make here? Movies? Yes. How did you know? It's amazing. What's in these buildings? They're awfully large. Each of these buildings has a different movie being made inside. But our movie is being made on the moon. On the moon? 
How are we supposed to get there? Well, a set that looks like the moon. I've always wanted to go to the moon. Me too. Feel free to have a look around. And when you're ready, come over to the moon set and we'll start filming. We'll be there practicing our acting. Brave space explorers, are you ready to save the day? Yes, yes! Well, listen closely. The moon is being attacked by naughty carrots falling from the sky. Oh dear, that's not good. What should we do? Fortunately, you're here to help trap them by catching them in these nets. And you need to catch them all as fast as you can. You can count on us. Well, we actually only need two of you. Any volunteers? Me, me, me! Perfect! Here are your nets. Use them to catch the carrots. When you see carrots, move to where they're falling. Then catch them with the net. You can do this! Are you ready? Yes! Then let's save the moon! Lights, camera, action! Good job. Keep catching those carrots. There's so many carrots. You can do it. We believe in you. <laughs> We're so close. Keep going. Oh, there are too many carrots! Oh no! What are we going to do? This is a super space disaster! Everyone remain calm. Ash Brown, any ideas? Um... I hear you got a carrot problem. Miss Rabbit? Oh, that's my idea! To call Miss Rabbit! Can you help us defeat the naughty carrots? I eat naughty carrots for breakfast. And so do I. Mademoiselle Lapin. At your service. Miss Rabbit, can you help me eat up all these carrots? Why, of course. With two hungry rabbits on the case, we'll have these carrots eaten up in no time. Fantastic. Are you ready, Miss Rabbit? I'm ready, Miss Rabbit. Then, bon appétit. Gone. Mm. I'm still hungry. Do you have any more? Miss Rabbits, you saved the day. Oh, it was nothing. All in a day's work. And you saved the day, too. We all saved the day. Well, thank you all for your help. It's been a pleasure to have you in our movie. And they loved seeing a real-life movie set. Can I take a photo, please? As a souvenir? Of course! Now we're really movie stars! <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you had fun and being in your very first Hollywood movie. You'll be famous celebrities in no time. What a fantastic trip it's been. You're back! Ho oh, ho ho, good to see you, Peppa. How was your trip to Hollywood? It was brilliant! We're movie stars now. Are you really? Yes, we saved the day in Super Potato's new film. 
That sounds like quite an adventure. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. I hear you're a star now. Yes, a big movie star. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> Silly, Grandpa. Well, you'll still need to come to school, even if you are a famous movie star. What a fun time we've had traveling around the world. We've seen and learned so much. Hear, hear. And I've had a wonderful time sailing you around the world on my ship. Did you have fun? Yes, yes. Me too. It was amazing. What was your favorite place, Peppa? Um, all of them. <laughs> Congratulations! It's been so much fun traveling around the world. We've seen and learned so much. I do hope you'll come back and do it again soon. Goodbye. Peppa's house. Peppa, I see you have a new friend. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Peppa does. <laughs> Let's play with <laughs> this. I love the sea. We should go to the beach sometime. Granny and Grandpa are going to take <laughs> me. Why don't he we ask them? Why don't we go visit my Granny and Grandpa? The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Grandpa's house. This is my Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden and Granny takes care of the chickens. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty! She must be pretty hungry. Why don't we go and get some food so we can fill the bowl? you, Peppa. Ah, I see you've brought a friend. Hello. Have you seen a chicken around here? Yes, Granny. She just left. Oh, my. That won't do at all. Peppa, 
Can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? chickens left. Thank you. I think there's still one chicken missing. the last one. All of the chickens are safe and sound now, thanks to you. Yeah. Grandpa, what is this for? Oh, that is called compost. It's a special muck that I use to fertilize the veggies. Be careful, though. It's very smelly. What does fertilize mean, Grandpa? It means it will help them grow bigger and be even more delicious. Why don't you try putting some in this patch of land? Follow me. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. 
<laughs> I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Quite that old, George. Dinosaur. Mm, it looks very nice. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty, and you can have. Anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, your majesties? Yes. We want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. I'm sure you would make a great queen, Pepper. It's a real dinosaur, one that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur! Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? 
Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Ah, there you are. Pepper's house. Arr. This is my room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. Phone is ringing. I wonder who is calling. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. Danny Dog is Peppa's friend. His house is next to the forest. I am having a birthday party today at my house. Do you and your friend want to come? You'll need to dress like a pirate. A pirate birthday party? We'll come right away. Don't be late! Mummy, Daddy! Please can we go to Danny Dog's birthday party? We're going to play pirate games. Ooh, pirates. I can't say no to that. Off to Danny Dog's house. have arrived at Danny Dog's birthday party. It is a pirate party. Ahoy! Ow, ow. Welcome to my pirate birthday party! Yaha! Here are your costumes. I can't wait to see everyone dressed like pirates. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Thank you for coming. And thank you for bringing your friend. Ahoy there, little pirates! Ahoy there, Ahoy there Grand Grand Dog. Dog Dog! Call me Dogbeard. <laughs> Today you will need to find the lost treasure of the pirates. Ooh! The lost treasure of the pirates is a very special treasure. It's so important, it's actually four treasures in one. How can it be four treasures in one? Good question, Danny. You see, the pirates of old didn't want anyone to find this treasure. So they split it in four parts and hid each part in a different place. Four parts? But we'll never find them all. They could be anywhere. Oh, but you're in luck, Pepper. I know where they all are. The first part is in the back garden of this very house. Ooh! But what about the rest? The second part was taken from me by my rival, the dreadful Captain Hog. Though some of you may know him as Grandpa Pig. 
<laughs> the third part is buried on Treasure Island. And finally, you'll have to look for the last part in the Caves of Gloom. Hey, that's by my house. And mine. Yes, well, the caves have had many different names throughout the years. Now, grab a map and be on your way. Yes, we found the map. It looks like the treasure is hidden somewhere in the back garden. Let's go there. We need to go this way. We need to go this way. We need to go this way. Hunt and see if you can find the other pieces. You have found a piece of the treasure. Well done. Ahoy, pirates! We must head to Captain Hogg's hideout to get another piece of treasure. Are we all ready? Aye, aye! Hold on there, pirates! Before you get on the boat, you need to put on your life vests. I like life vests! You can get on the boat now. OK. Go on then, climb aboard! Anchors away! Full sail! Ah! The sea breeze! There's nothing like it! Aren't we on a river, Grandad? But of course, Daddy! And it carries the sea breeze with it! Now, this puts me in the mood for a song. The Jolly Pirates leave the sound in the sea to find the golden treasure for sale by the bee. Little pirates, you have almost arrived at Captain Hogg's hideout. I'll give you a little tip. The treasure is hanging from the trees. But be careful. Captain Hogg himself is protecting it. So you have to find it without him seeing you. Good luck. I hope there are no pirates here trying to take my lovely treasure. Let's get the treasure, but don't let Grandpa see it. <laughs> Hello? Who's there? 
Is someone trying to steal my treasure? Job. You got the treasure without being seen. Good job, young pirates. You're close to finding all the parts of the treasure. The next stop is Treasure Island. The next part of the treasure is buried beneath its sands. My boat is this way. Follow me. Onwards. At full sail. What's that? It's a message. We need to take it to Granny. What's that, Pepper? You're a very lovely band of pirates. Really? Oh, yes. That's true. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is taking you for a day out on his boat. You will be going to a very interesting place. Everyone on board? Aye, aye, aye Captain Hog! Full sail! I'm sure the formidable dog beard has warned you about me. The formidable? That's right. I've had many an adventure with that fearsome pirate. It was during our last adventure, in fact, that we found the grand treasure that you are looking for today. We couldn't decide who should keep it, so we split it and hid it in four different places. What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Ooh! When the beep sounds faster, it means you're getting closer to the treasure.
done, you two. You are the first to find the treasure on Treasure Island. It's all yours now. Well done. You are a great treasure hunter. And thanks to the metal detector, you have found the treasure hidden on the island. like a bug. That's a very old bug. Is that a seashell? Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Yes, that's true. But you can hear it when it's far away too. We need to go and find the treasure in the Caves of Gloom. Pirates. Can we go home to look for the pirate treasure? Of course. Time aboard the um pirate car. to work as a treasure hunter myself. Really? Yes, but the hours were too long. Shiny! Shiny!
treasure with you, haven't you? Yes, yes! You did a very good job finding the treasure in my back garden. And you managed to get all the treasure in my hideout without me seeing you. You found the buried treasure in the island. And the hidden chest in the caves of the You seem to be having loads of fun together. Ooh, a butterfly! It's so pretty. Let's follow it. Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no! There's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Got one! Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean. Thank you. 
What a lovely spot for camping. Ah, Peppa. I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Peppa's Hello, Peppa. friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children. Now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Peppa and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks. Got one. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? Excellent job. Now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? Get around, children. Who wants to hear a song? Me! 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 me. me. Okay, then. What a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Basket. It smells delicious. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops. I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job. You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. 
this goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy! Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? But it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy! We have to give them some food! Oh, all right. There you go, ducks. I'm full! Well, at least someone is. <laughs> ah, there you are. My room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. Hello there. What are you two up to in here? Mummy, Mummy! We're playing with the toys in my basket. <gasps> I think George would like to play with you too. Impossible. George! I'm busy with my new friend. Ooh. Peppa, I'm sure you can all play together, the three of you. Why don't you play tag? How do you play tag? You have to chase each other, and when you catch someone, they're it. OK. You're it. <laughs> OK, then. I'll leave you to it.
You seem to be having loads of fun together. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. wants to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. I think these will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Rob! 
hope it will give us geese to go down the mountain. I think these will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. Well, hello, little bird. What are you doing? Little bird. Chirp, chirp. Goodbye, little bird. Come visit us soon. Peppa, I see you have a new friend. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Peppa does. Windy Castle has a very tall tower. We'll get a view of the whole town. You'll see. Hooray! Dinosaur! No, George. I'm afraid there are no dinosaurs up there. Dinosaur! But you can take Mr. Dinosaur with you. Dinosaur! 
dinosaur! All right, then. Why don't you two go and wait for us in the car while we finish getting ready? Yes, Daddy. We'll go there right away. Let's go to the car. Daddy will drive us to Windy Castle. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. with Pepper and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh, yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. That looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look, Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We are very far away from them. Oh, today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Look, look! I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. We found the museum! I love the museum. Dinosaur. <laughs> and there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. The playgroup. No one's there, though, because it's not playgroup time. Potato City. Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Peppa. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places. Even some that are very far away. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. 
We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go oh, through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Pepper, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful! I see. Well, so are you, Pepper. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come! Daddy Pig? Didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes. Well, I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun, and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City! Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes! Have you come to explore? Yes, yes! You come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day. Um, yes. Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun. Remember to visit the whole park. There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see. All right then, run along children. Have fun. I think I'll skip this one. Okay. Ready? Here we go! I'll definitely skip the second round. <laughs> You're a tomato now! Wow, a pumpkin! <laughs> Ooh, you're a carrot! <laughs>
Well, your friend has been with us for quite some time now. Yes, quite some time indeed. And you've been to so many places together. You've been to our house. <sighs> and you've been to our house. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Of course. We even went to the beach together. We found many things in the rock pool. Rock pool! Rock pool! And to the forest. You helped poor Titters the tortoise in the playground. Hooray! And we went all the way up Snowy Mountain. I took you there. And to the museum. Did you enjoy our trip to the moon? I always do. I've been seeing you running around the town for some time now. It's always nice to see new faces. <laughs> we got a good view of the whole town from Windy Castle, too. What a lovely view it was. And I'm happy to have met you now that you've come here to Potato City. Well, I've had a lot of fun, thanks to you. You're my friend forever. Friend forever. Friend forever. Ha 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 